Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with Brian Costello of Investnet Yodley and we're at Money 2020 Europe in Copenhagen. Thank you for joining me. It's my pleasure. So what are some of the common themes and trends you've had here this week? So the conversations we're having here at Money 2020 and the conversations we're having across Europe in general have three common themes. First, everybody recognizes that responsible innovation in financial services is a force for good. Consumers benefit from having data-driven services that are personalized for them. Banks benefit from having reliable and timely data that helps them build better products and services. And the market benefits from the improved financial wellness of all of its members. Secondly, responsible fintech is evolutionary, not revolutionary. There are certainly some revolutionary technologies like blockchain, but the financial ecosystem ensures that the application of fintech to the market, driven by and shaped by responsible innovators, banks, and regulators, does not introduce systemic risk. This is especially important for the consumers. And so consumer enablement and protection is the third theme. We all have a all have a role to play in consumer protection, responsible innovators and the, the banks and the regulators. How are regulations influencing fintech? P PSD2 is also part of every conversation we're having here at Money 2020 and when we talk to innovators and financial institutions across Europe. The recognition that account information service providers are different than uh, payment service providers is, is absolutely key. It, it lets platforms like Investnet Yodli understand their legal requirements and helps us to craft appropriate solutions. It, it also plays an important part in consumer protection uh, principles, which include the fact that consumers own their data. And that ownership allows them to use it as they see fit and to engage service providers that make sense for them to help them on their journey. All of the players in the financial ecosystem, responsible innovators, financial institutions, uh, and the regulators have a role to play. And so PSD2 uh, and the GDPR will help drive us to standards uh, for that. So what financial services are you seeing most impacted by fintech? We're seeing four primary use cases impacted by fintech in Europe. The first is innovative, innovative personal finance management, uh, typically using behavioral-based triggers and targeted to key segments like students, women, and people preparing for retirement. The second is payment service providers using aggregation for funding account verification and risk management. We're seeing lots of lending solutions where uh, bank account data is being used for better personalized underwriting and affordability checks. And then finally, financial advisors are using bank account data to get a 360 degree view of their advisees to provide better advice and to comply with their requirements like RDR. Brian, thank you very much. Thank you, it was my pleasure. Thank you for watching.